Thank you, and let's welcome back to the Jimmy Dean stage our friends, River City Tycho. <laughs>
Domo Arigato, thank you very much. Uh, we are River City Taiko. I'm Alistair, I'm the director of River City Taiko. Uh, we have a great show for you today. What we're going to play is a variety of songs. Uh, many of them are based on older compositions uh, that have been sort of made new for the concert stage. So, for instance, Kagura, temple music, or festival music. And many of them are original compositions, maybe written in the last 50 or even 20 years. So the first song that we played, Toshiko and I were playing a song called Michiyuki, which means down the road we were playing it in Kaitoryu style, so we had a big drum and a small drum, and uh, I was playing right-handed, Toshiko played left-handed. Uh, and then we went into a song called Matsuri. Matsuri is the Japanese word for festival, and again, a lot of music for taiko is related to festivals. That particular song is very, very popular, it's based on festival rhythms from in and around um, Tokyo, so there are actually a lot of people from Tokyo who know a version of that song. So at the very end of today, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to invite people to come up on stage to try out some of the taiko themselves. So if you're interested in that, please stick around. The next song we're going to play is called Renshu, and this was originally written in San Francisco at San Francisco Taiko Dojo, the first taiko dojo in North America. And it started out as sort of a learning drill, and it became pretty cool to play, so it turned into a song in its own right. So what you're going to see is the drummers start out with very simple rhythms, and then they layer extra technique on until it gets um, really quite uh, dynamic and, uh, and not always easy to play. So this is Venshu. I hope you enjoy. Again, we're River City Cycle. Thank you for coming.
that was renshu, again, renshu is uh, the Japanese word for practice, and that was written uh, in San Francisco Taiko Dojo, the first Taiko Dojo in North America that started uh, about 1968, 1969. Um, the next song we're going to play was written um, by Daihachi Oguchi. So Taiko had, in Japan, it had grown old and sort of felt like out of touch for a lot of people, particularly younger people. And Daihachi Oguchi was one of the people who was starting in the 1950s and into the 60s and 70s. He started creating new music and getting people interested in Taiko again. And this is perhaps his most famous song called Hiryu San Nagaishi. And it's about, it's related to the Osua Shrine where he uh, uh, found music and started teaching. And uh, there's a dragon at the shrine. The story about this shrine is there's a dragon that descends three times. So sana, ichni, san. You see the number three occur in this piece a lot. Um, and you'll see the gates of the shrine opening and closing as the drummers move. We'll start with a short uh, prayer that goes along with the Osua shrine. Again, this is Hiryu Sana Gaishi. Thank you very much.
songs you've seen uh, have been on drums on down stands or betha stands like this. Um, we'll do a couple more like that, or actually one more like that, and then we'll start moving the drums onto some different positions and utilizing some other drums as well. So again, that was Hiryu San Nangaishi. It's a, also a very popular song among uh, uh, North American taiko groups and other taiko groups worldwide. Um, the next song we're going to play is called Se uh, Nagara Seiryu no Boriyuchi. Frequently, you just call it Seiryu. It's based on festival rhythms from around uh, Gifu. So um, near there, there's uh, a bunch of rivers that go through the plain, the low-lying areas. And around the rivers, you have fish that go upstream, and then they come back downstream. And there's a festival that commemorates that. Lots of festivals in Japan and around the world have some feature like that that they sort of piggyback on to tell the story of why they're celebrating. So what you're going to see with these, river, uh, with these drums, they represent the river. Um, and what you're going to see, the drummers represent the fish, and they're going to go upstream in one direction, and then go and turn around and go back downstream. Um, so I hope you, again, a lot of uh, modern taiko music is basically sort of lifted out of kagura tempo music or festival music like this uh, for a song like Seiyu. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Again, that was Nagara Seiru, Seiru no Boriyuchi, uh, based on festival music. Uh, so now we're going to shift gears a little bit and start playing some, uh, some of the same drums but on different stands. So what you're going to see us do as we switch to a song called Yodan is we're going to take the big drum in the center uh, that's up on the upstand and move it into the center. And then we're going to set another couple drums on either side of it. So this is an interesting song. It's a very popular song called Yodan Ichi. And if you count in Japanese, Ich, Ni, San, Yon, Yon is four. And so Yodan, the Yo, means four, Dan, four sides. So we're going to have three drums set up here. And we're going to have six drummers playing four sides of these, um, of these drums. So this is a, a fairly, this is a new song that was written in the 60s by Oedu Shikiroku Daiko. We can turn that stand around. Uh, written by Oedu Shikiroku Daiko, which is uh, one of the early groups in Japan that um, started writing new compositions for Taiko. And, these are, this, and some of their compositions were fairly acrobatic. And this is one of them. So what you're going to be seeing is we're going to be playing some fairly simple rhythms, somewhat repetitive, but the choreography is, um, is pretty dynamic. This has become a very, very popular, again, another popular song among North American taiko groups. Um, and it really shows off um, sort of more of the uh, dance side of taiko. A lot of what you see us doing on stage is sort of this marriage between dance and music, or uh, movement and percussion. Uh, and this is a very good example of this. Again, this is Yonan. Stick around if you would like to try out the drums at the very end. We'll have you come up here and exit there, and you'll try out the drums for yourselves. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm going to stall a little bit while I catch my breath. Um, so the last two songs we played, uh, the first one with the big drum on the floor there, Miyake, is from the island of Miyake. And the second song we played with the drums, they're just being moved away right now, it's called Asa. Asa is a big festival in Okinawa. The, the rhythms for Asa that we played are very loosely rhythm, uh, based on slower flute rhythm, rhythms from Okinawa, but that's uh, where the basic inspiration comes from. And Miyake, the bigger drum, uh, that's become a very popular song as well, but it's played sort of like that in festivals where people take turns playing the drum, they play that, that simple rhythm over and over and over again. Miyake is about one or two hundred miles south of Tokyo in the Pacific Ocean. And Okinawa is, of course, much farther south uh, to the west. What we're going to play now is we're going to do a medley of songs. Some of them are from Hachijo Island, which is also south of to Tokyo, but again, one or two hundred miles. It's an island where um, samurai used to be sent into exile. There are a lot of islands like that in Japan where you would be exiled off of the mainland and be sent to Sado Island or Hachijo Island. So there are a lot of songs from Hachijo Island based on yearning and missing of loved ones. Um, the first song will be Hana Hachijo, played by two drummers. Uh, that's an original composition by Chieko Kojima, but it's uh, based on ideas from the Hachijo. And then we'll do the Katana demonstration, swordsmanship, and we will cut some, or actually our partners, Scott and Matt, will cut some tatami mats. Um, and then we will move into a medley of songs from Hachijo, including Oyuchi, which is another strong song from Oedu Skuroku Daiko. We're getting near the end of our uh, set list. So again, if you'd like to stick around afterwards, we'll invite you up this way. You can try the drums for yourself and exit that way. You can also go to the education center and find out more about us and the people who are doing katana on stage with us. Thank you very much for coming.
Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this amazing performance. I, I wouldn't think of the title coming so far. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. We don't have a title. You like this in New Jersey. Anybody else from New Jersey in the house? <laughs> so my name is Katagashi. I teach the Japanese Sword Art Studies program out of RVA Katana at 99 West Cary in the fan. And it's a non-denominational sort of uh, Japanese sword art that focuses on history, language, culture, and philosophy in addition to the sword. So my student Matt here just the other day was telling me how he said, since it, you know, the sword really is a lens to a greater part of the culture. And boy, I think he's absolutely right. What do you think, Matt? I agree. So Matt, how long have you been training? I've been training for eight months. Eight months, not bad for eight months. Eight months for playing with Taiko. Water. So what have you learned so far? What do you think about your experience? Um, well, it's like you said, I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm, I'm really honored, first of all, to be on the stage with everybody in front of this community. Um, and yeah, like I said, I was hoping when I met him to just learn how to swing a sword, basically. And then, like you said, uh, every class there's history, there's a uh, you know, philosophy, like you said, there's language too. And um, yeah, it's much more than uh, I could have hoped for. And uh, it's been a wonderful experience. Yeah, tons of fun. The class is only 12 bucks a class. There's no hidden fees, no silly titles or ranks, you just show up in something loose and comfortable and have fun. The mindset is exploring and discovering. So we're going to be at the Education Center afterwards with RBA Katana. John Kang is a tremendous asset to the community, along with my wife, Kemi Takahashi, who's a great Japanese calligrapher. So you should definitely go over and check that out. Hopefully you sent your copy. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
So again, that was our katana demonstration. Scott and Matt joined us on stage, which was super awesome. Um, and then we played a song called Omiyage, we just finished up with. You can actually see Toshiko made stands out of styrofoam, and if you read them, o ni ya ge Omiyage means gift, and this was a song that was written um, uh, about 20 years ago, so it's a modern composition, and it was written as a gift to the taiko community. So for some songs, you have to get permission to play them, so you have to be taught by the right person and pay for a workshop from the right person. But this was gifted to the taiko community, and anybody who can learn it can play it. Uh, and so that's our second to last song. For our last song, we're going to play a song called Yatai Bayashi, but I believe we're also going to quickly talk about our raffle. Is that correct? <laughs> we can do that now. So we're just going to set up for Yatai Bayashi. We're going to use be using a few drums in different styles. We're going to have people sitting at these drums. Yatai Bayashi, Yatai means um, a float, like a Thanksgiving Day Parade float. Bayashi means um, orchestra. So basically what you have outside of Tokyo in Chichibu um, is a float with drums inside the play. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Why don't we do the raffle first? This is Chelsea, Executive Director of Perkinson Center. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. the beauty, the majesty, that is the power of River City Tycho. Can we get a round of applause on that? <laughs> now, if you indulge me for a few moments, I have to tell a little story. Um, this is not the first time that River City Tycho has taken our stage. Back in December of 2020, uh, we celebrated the wonderful opening of this beautiful state-of-the-art Center for the Arts, our new home for the arts, with a virtual grand opening. And we were privileged and honored to have River City Tycho take part in that virtual performance that we brought to our community. Now, when they were here, due to the restrictions, it was pretty much locked down. Uh, there were a lot of regulations in place, and we had to be very, very, very cautious of that. So they ended up playing for an empty hall. So if you'll indulge me for a second, I think we need to give them a huge round of applause times two. <laughs> not just people who host events, but also for groups. We, we couldn't find any place to play, and we missed playing. So having us here was a real great opportunity for us in COVID, too, during COVID. So thank you so much to Perkinson Center, not just for today, but for December of 2020. It was a real highlight for us in a period of time where we, were, we didn't get to play. It, it really sucked. So thank you very much <laughs> for Perkinson, because we love to play, and this was like one of our few opportunities. So thank you very much. to produce events like this. In addition to the artistry on stage, I have to give kudos to the technical team behind the scenes, our volunteers, as well as our staff. It takes a village to produce these things. And we are committed to bringing more experiences like this to our community. This Center for the Arts has been in the, the twinkle in our eye for over 50 years, okay? So just think about that for a second. We have been persistent. We have gone through the ups and downs, and now we're here serving the community. So I just want to take that opportunity to share that with you all. And we'd like to give away a little something to two individuals in the audience. Now, Alistair, I'm going to ask you for your help. So I don't draw anything, so I have no stake in this, OK? <laughs> so um, we are going to be gifting two Perkinson Center swag bags with various items in them as well. Some River City, uh, River City Tyco merchandise, as well as some uh, original Perkinson Center, um, Baxter Perkinson Center credit cards as well. So get your tickets out. <laughs> so we have got ticket number one 
four six seven nine six. One four six seven nine six. Any takers? Fantastic. At the end of the performance, please join us at the box office to pick up your prize. One more, one more. Let's see what we've got here. Again, we've got here one four six eight two six. One four six eight two six. Congratulations. Thank you so much, and you know what, Alex Dare? I'll throw it back to you all. Thank you. Thank you very much to Chelsea. Thank you very, very much. Thank you to John and all the technical staff. This has been amazing for us. And thank you to all of you for coming. Um, so after this song is over, I'll talk a little bit about the song, and then we'll um, go ahead and play. But after this song is over, we'll re uh, reposition these stands so that everybody can come up and try out the drums if you like. What we'll do is, um, just to keep it easy to get up and get out, we'll come up this way if you want to play the drums, and we'll have you exit that way just so it doesn't get choked up. All right? But please feel free. We'll give you a pair of bocce, just sort of like what you see the drummers there. there um, and we'll just go through a few drills, and you'll learn to play the drums for yourself. So Yatagayashi, our final song. Um, these drums uh, at, the, at the festival in Chichibu, just out, up in the mountains outside of Tokyo, they are, the drums are inside this float, and so the drummers have to sit really and make a small profile in front of the drums to play them as the yatai goes down, straight down the street. And when it turns, we play the smaller drums that you see back there. We're also going to do a couple of solos on the very, very big drum because we don't get to use it much. Um, and so this is Yatai Bayashi with Odaiko solos and Tame Gire, and then back, back to Yatai Bayashi. Again, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much to Perkinson Center. And please come on up and try out the drums yourself if you'd like to. You can also go to the Education Center and talk to some of us, of us there. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. And thank you to Perkins and Center. Thank you to Chelsea. Thank you to John. Thank you to all for, the, for all of the technical staff. Uh, thank you for all of the folks. You did great.